Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. This is Tanush and uh, today we will be discussing about uh, the current status of Jupiter. So Jupiter is under tremendous stress bounded by Saturn and is not able to give the results which it is supposed to give. So I made a video on this uh, probably an hour back but I got feedback from my wife that it was too technical and now I'll try to simplify it. So let me see if I'll be successful. So uh, let us get started. So uh, after I made the video about Saturn, uh, you know, Saturn in retrograde motion giving a lot of stress also to people who are under Sare Sati, you know. So uh, at that time I got comments saying that, you know, uh, is Jupiter or the sign of Pisces also under the ambit of Saturn? And I was supposed to make a video on this uh, in the first week of November, but then because the context is set now, uh, I thought let me make it now. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, let us discuss in points to simplify it. So first, is Jupiter in the sign of uh, Pisces under stress? And the answer is yes. Why? Because Saturn in the sign of Capricorn in the retrograde motion is aspecting the sign of Pisces with its third aspect, right? So two things we need to understand is first is uh, the sign of Pisces is under stress or uh, being bounded by Saturn and second because Jupiter is in the sign of Pisces, you know, the same applies to Jupiter as well, right? So let us understand uh, what the third aspect of Saturn means. So uh, Saturn has, has been given this third aspect. Because uh, generally, you know, in the natural culture, uh, Kalpurish Kundali, the third house represents our efforts. And Saturn was given this aspect uh, uh, to signify that wherever, okay, to signify that uh, wherever Saturn aspects, uh, whichever house Saturn aspects with its third aspect, uh, to get results of that house. We need to put in a lot of efforts, a lot of efforts, probably, you know, 200 percent efforts. We need to be very disciplined. We need to be very organized. We need to have a lot of patience. We need to persevere, you know, keep working on that again and again. And then, you know, Saturn actually gives us the results. But the results of Saturn are considered to be kind of, you know, uh, they'll endure a lot and they are considered to be permanent because when we start putting it, you know, putting in 200% effort on doing something and, you know, we persevere with patience, then we kind of become expert in that particular area, right? So, yes, the sign of Pisces as well as Jupiter is under stress. Now, Jupiter represents optimism, expansion. It expands, you know, all the positive qualities. So, Jupiter expands the optimism wherever it sits, wherever it aspects. Right. So uh, the transit of Jupiter is supposed to be very good. But because from the month of July, uh, Saturn has come back to the sign of Capricorn in retrograde motion and is aspecting Jupiter and the sign of Pisces. So Jupiter represents expansion, whereas Saturn represents boundaries. So now Saturn is actually imposing boundaries around Jupiter and whatever the sign of Pisces signifies in your chart. So yes, this is under tremendous stress. To give an example, let us take the example of uh, Gemini Ascendant. So uh, Saturn is in the 8th house right now for Gemini Ascendant and with its ret uh, it's, in a re it's in the retrograde motion and it is aspecting the 10th house, which is the house of career. And even though Jupiter is sitting there, you know, Gemini Ascendant people are having to put in a lot of efforts on their job front or business or profession. Right. So they are kind of confused. They are putting in a lot of efforts and they're not getting the desired results. So that is uh, how Saturn is actually uh, creating boundaries around Jupiter and the sign of Pisces. So, yes, it is under tremendous stress. Now, the second point is uh, from when will Jupiter be free uh, from the uh, aspect of Saturn or from the control of Saturn and start giving results? So the answer to that is as soon as uh, Saturn starts its uh, you know forward motion from 24th of October 
so we can see that you know slowly things uh, getting positive so why is that because saturn has started the you know the forward motion degree wise also there is lot of difference between jupiter and saturn right now so uh, you know the the hold of saturn will loosen now and jupiter will start actually giving the results which it is supposed to give and to add to that generally what happens is uh, so uh, let's take an example suppose a person is working too hard in his career maybe business or profession and he has been working for long time and then the person uh, plans for a vacation one week vacation you know somewhere so what happens is three or four days prior to the vacation the mood of that person completely changes so the person is more worried about you know or more more relaxed or thinking about how to spend time how to you know spend good time so what all the person can do during the vacation so the planning starts and the mood of the person gradually changes so similarly now saturn is uh, would be assuming uh, its forward motion and then it would be rushing towards the sign of aquarius and the mood of saturn is going to change right so now saturn would be thinking about you know how to settle down in the sign of aquarius what kind of results saturn is supposed to give in the sign of aquarius and because aquarius is the mool trikon rashi of saturn you know saturn is much more happy to be there because it's you know its own house actually where it's quite comfortable right so we can see from mid of november you know uh, or probably first week of november jupiter regaining its strength and starting to give positive results to everyone so the results would you know be quite evident or you know uh, the results would start manifesting from mid of november and uh, that would add to the positivity slowly now the third point is i would like to speak little bit about the month of october right so the month of october is little turbulent so why uh, one is sun would be transiting on say 15th or 16th uh, of this month of october to the sign of libra or tula rashi where it is debilitated right so my teacher says that now the king is in the marketplace so sun is the king of all the planets so sun lies uh, sun is a royal entity it likes to be you know in the kingdom where you know where it gets all its opulence and all the attention uh, it gets that that power to control everyone right so now the same planet is now coming to the point of debilitation so it's like you know the king coming to the marketplace where it loses all its uh, control or hold so uh, the significance of sun comes down significantly right to add to that ketu is already present in the sign of libra or tula rashi so sun is going to conjoin with ketu and ketu is going to eclipse sun very badly so sun is again going to get much weaker and uh, venus is going to transit into the sign of libra i think that is going to happen on um, 18th of october and mercury would be also joining uh, the sign of libra so that is around 24th of this month i believe 24th or somewhere around that time right so now mercury venus sun and ketu would be involved in solar eclipse so there would be a solar eclipse and there would be a lunar eclipse and these four planets would be part of that eclipse so the sign of libra is going to undergo you know tremendous transformation right so many ups and downs Uh, and whatever libra signifies in your chart for your respect to ascendant you know that particular uh, house would again undergo lot of transformation right so november uh, mid of november would be more settling where uh, saturn would be you know in the forward motion going towards rushing expediting you know giving the results and rushing towards the sign of aquarius jupiter uh would be going towards uh, its direct motion and you know um sun would move out of debilitation and get into the sign of scorpio so from mid of november it would be a settling time i would say and we can see the positive results of uh, jupiter from then so positive or negative depends on how it is placed in your chart and whether it is functional malefic or 
functional benefit for you right but that results would be more evident from mid of november right so uh, these were few points uh, which i wanted to discuss i hope they are not too technical but you know nothing can be done because this is just a message which i want to convey that this is happening this is not transit wherein i can just tell you know this planet is moving here and this sign is going to get this kind of results and that doesn't make sense as well right so we need to understand why a person is saying what he's saying right so what is the relevance and hence you know i've given some background so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with uh, another video soon right thank you so much and happy navratri to everyone and happy dasara in advance to everyone thank you so much